Uh, hello, my name is Matthew, and I read uh, just an utterly fantastic short story by Nikolai Gogol, uh, The Carriage. And before I talk about the book, um, one of my favorite, a few of my favorite television shows um, are Seinfeld and then Curb Your Enthusiasm, um, both, um, both of which Larry David was one of the creative minds. Larry David and Seinfeld for Seinfeld, and then Larry David with Curb Your Enthusiasm. And sometimes you hear the, the, the shows um, show about nothing, and uh, so, sometimes it is with episodes like The Chinese Restaurant. Uh, but some of my favorite episodes is an, a completely absurd the situation that will take place at the very end of the episode. It's this impossible situation. That's going to be the punchline. And the whole entire show is just leading up to a series of seemingly logical, or at least not unreasonable, events. But collectively, they're going to result in this insane, absurd situation. And the carriage by Gogol has that same sort of framework. Uh, we have, we're going to have a character that gets into this completely insane situation. Uh, and it's, it's low stakes. It's small scale. These are um, just small, small town stories of um, poor um, farms and villages in, in the Russian countryside. And it begins with a description of um, uh, a somewhat dreary, a, a, a dreary worn down, uh, beaten up town. Um, it's been neglected, it hasn't been prospering, the people are just kind of getting older, and there's um, excitement that stirs in the town where these important generals and majors are coming through and um, stake, uh, uh, staking their claim into this town. So now they're going to have these big important people in town. Everyone's full of excitement because the uh, important generals and majors are wearing their uniforms and they have their uh, plumes and they have mustaches that sit under their noses and they have uh, different length pipes. Uh, and then the carriages. These um, opulent, beautifully ornate carriages. And so uh, we have uh, a, basically our main character that we meet, this landowner. I've already forgotten his name. It's probably Ivan. And he gets into a conversation with these big, important um, majors and, and generals. And they're talking about their carriages. And... He's invited over um, uh, for a dinner party, and they're they're talking, and there's um, a banquet of food. Everything is um, fatty and oily and sugary, and sweet, and um, uh, bottles of brandy and rum and vodka and wine, and uh, it's everything is extravagant. And they're talking, and this landowner um, is you know, very happy, and he's kind of bragging, and he's excited, and he's talking about how he has a beautiful carriage, and the the important generals and majors are, oh, you know, tell us about the carriage, and he says it was worth you know four thousand rubles, and and in his excitement he says, how about tomorrow, uh, I'll invite you over to my house. And we'll have lunch, and I'll show you my carriage. And the generals and majors all collectively agree. And everything is well and good. But um, cards come out, and they start playing cards. And um, the wine and liquor is still pouring. And all of a sudden, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. And this poor guy is basically crawling himself into bed uh, next to his wife. He, he's ab absolutely just obliterated, drunk. <laughs> uh, 
uh, passes out. The, the wife wakes up the next morning, uh, can't, can't get her husband to stir, so it just leaves him to recover. Now it's around noon, and these carriages start coming over the horizon, these fancy carriages. And the wife is thinking, what on earth? So she goes in, um, shaking her husband, says these carriages are coming over. And he says, is, is, lunch, is lunch ready? And she goes, lunch? What are you talking about? You got home at 4 o'clock in the morning, drunk, incoherent. You didn't say anything about lunch. And he goes, well, how, how far away are they? <laughs> they're, they're, um, they're an immediate presence. And so this guy jumps out of bed, only wearing his nightshirt, running around the house, decides, tell them I've left. Just tell them I, I, had, I had to go. And now he's looking for a place to hide. He's looking around the house. He finally uh, escapes to the carriage house crawls into the carriage, shuts the door, has a little blanket over his head. The uh, important generals and majors, of course, did not have all the ill effects that a lowly peasant would have. Um, they're uh, tempered to, uh, to withstand uh, large quantities of uh, wine and liquor and uh, late night outings. So they're uh, still fully plumed and they have uh, their uniforms uh, perfectly buttoned, and they're ready for lunch. And they're told, "Well, he, he's gone." And they go, "Okay, well, he'll be he'll be back for lunchtime." And they say, "No, no, no, he left for the day." And they're thinking, "What? Why on earth would this guy invite us over here for lunch the, the very day before and not not be here?" And they say, "Well, it doesn't have to be an entire loss." Uh, show us the carriage. And so we have this guy in his pajamas hiding in a carriage. Uh, all of a sudden, the generals and majors are completely surrounding him. They open up the door and find him in this uh, completely pathetic state. And they go, ah, there you are, and just slam the door in his face. And to add insult to injury, they were not impressed with the carriage. So much fun. So... <laughs> I've been, I've been having a very good time with these Google short stories. Um, so let me know if you've read it. Um, and thank you for watching and take care.